What's up, guys? I'm on the call today with Scotty. Scotty's in the 12-week Exit Velo Blaster program. So first of all, uh, who are you? What's up? My name's Scott Rapicelli. I'm a junior college baseball player. I was at Santa Barbara City College, and now I'm going to West Los Angeles College. Awesome, man. Awesome. And about how long have you been in the program? Um, this is my sixth, sixth or seventh week in the nice. program. Um, awesome. Yeah. And what are some of the biggest changes you've seen uh, since starting the program? Some of the biggest changes easily, even within the first week, I think just uh, when I'm making my swing decision, I'm much quicker. I think just being quicker to the ball and then uh, overall strength and mobility has definitely improved. I think being able to move better and uh, just with some of the workouts, it's really unlocked that extra level of mobility uh, or athletic athleticism that I didn't have before. Absolutely. Uh, kind of talk to me about like your mental state, like what's your, where your, what's your confidence like? Confidence is definitely going up. I think when you can step in the box and feel things that you haven't felt before um, and be being able to be like, look, I can adjust and and get to this pitch and be able to go down and get a ball that I wasn't being, I wasn't able to before. I think that just adds confidence and and really changes your approach and your mindset when, when you're in the box. Yeah, absolutely. Now, since getting in the program, did you improve on anything that you didn't expect to get better at? That's a good question. Um, I think it really goes back to the, the confidence thing. I thought that, you know, maybe if seeing numbers go up would, would help boost that. But I really think it, it's just an approach thing at the plate. Um, I feel like I can handle pitches that I would have been not really comfortable swinging at or uh, hitting in, uh, in, in pitchers counts, you know, hitting with two strikes. I feel comfortable like, hey, even if he makes a good pitch, I can stay in this, foul yeah. it off or drive it the other way. So awesome, man. Awesome, man. So you're about a little over halfway uh, through the program. You still have another six or seven weeks left, dude. So there's a lot more uh, in the tank, a lot more to get to, man. So I'm really expecting sure. to see big some more big improvements from you, from you, dude. Yeah. I'm excited to keep it going. This is, this has been a good journey so far, but we're not done. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. Um, what do you know what your exit velo was when you started the program? Yes. When I started the program, I think the max I had ever hit off of a tee was 88 miles per hour. Awesome, bro. Well, we're going to get you to 95 by the end of this time, bro. With some of the improvements that you've had so far, dude, you're going to get there with no problem. 100%. Awesome, bro. Well, I appreciate you uh, hopping on this call with me, and that'll be it, man. Yeah, appreciate thanks. Thanks for your time. What's going on? What's going on, everybody? I got Scotty here on the other line. Scotty is in the 12 week exit below blaster program, and he is in week six of his program. Scotty, first of all, first of all, tell us who you are and where do you play? Hey, guys, my name is Scott Rapicelli. Uh, I was at Santa Barbara City College, and now this year I'm going to West Los Angeles College. Awesome, man. Awesome, man. And kind of talk to me. You've been in the program for six weeks, six weeks, not that long. But what are some of the biggest changes you've seen since entering the program? I think some of the biggest changes that I've seen since I've started the program um, has been the mobility that I've been able to unlock and also uh, just overall quickness and twitchiness. Mm -hmm. I think that um, it's really improved all aspects of my game, not just uh, at the plate. Yeah. Uh, something that was really interesting that you said right there was like your twitchiness. Uh, can you talk about like what it feels like to be quicker at the plate? Is that going to change your approach? Like talk to me about that. I think it totally changes my mindset when I'm, when I'm going into the box, it's like, Hey, I can get to the fastball. I don't have to worry about getting beat inside, especially. And then I have the adjustability and now the mobility to, Hey, sit back and now I can drive that off speed the other way. So uh, it, it really definitely helps uh, even with the mindset, especially. Awesome, man. So um, kind of talk to me about your confidence and your ability now, where is that? I feel much more confident when I'm at the plate. Hey, I can step into the box and it doesn't really matter who's pitching, who's on the mound. like, you know, I just have a job to do. Just try to keep it simple. And uh, I think definitely much less anxious, especially in high pressure situations. And yeah, uh, yeah just overall confidence has gone way up. I think that's super important, dude, because a lot of guys try and get to the plate 
and like press. And then that's when we become our own worst enemies. But you have, if you have the confidence that you, you know that you have the ability to get to these pitches without trying to do anything extra, then you can stay within yourself and you're going to be a more successful hitter at the end of the day. I think that's awesome. Uh, well, dude, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I really appreciate uh, you hopping on the call with me today. And we got six more weeks, dude. Um, you're going to kick more ass in the next six weeks, hit all of your goals. Um, and yeah, man, I'm really get to get excited to keep working, bro. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it.